Ah, yes. Classic. Late night comedy. We find for your entertainment needs. That's right. We can up there with Ellie Muir is next on Nick at Night. The only uh, show on Nick at Night that will absolutely make you laugh. So please walk we have everybody. And for tonight's weeknight update episode, it's time for Cam Cam to read your answers in Yesterday I Asked You. Let's hope you guys came up with funny answers. And to wrap tonight's program up, our late night movie time. That's right. So take off your tap dancing shoes. You know what? Sit back, relax, and enjoy what Nick at Night has to offer. Hey, you don't, uh... The, uh, too many uh, great late night talk shows on TV anymore. You really don't. I mean, every late night talk show is practically the same. There's only one show that can give you something that's different from the all, all the rest. Week not there with Ellie Mueller. Starting now, let's go. Straight from the old two dog show, where Joey King fails to tread. Wait, what? That makes no sense at all. It's Week not there with Ellie Mueller, and now the star. Slash so host of Week Now Update and the man who thinks that uh, Joey King is a low nut. See? Mr. Ellie Cunning Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update! I am Ellie Cunning Mueller! What is up, my grasshoppers? I am Ellie Cunning Mueller! Alright, cool. Uh, Mr. Announcer, once again, uh, you're butchering uh, some of those uh, lines again uh, during your announcement. I'm sorry, but what can you do? I mean, we're doing the and showing you to me on Nick at Night. What do you want me to do, huh? Okay, okay. Let's kill, all right? All right, the theme song is composed by Babylon Creations. Diamond Talk Kimmy made the bumpers for the show, and he has made some new ones recently. If you haven't uh, checked them out yet, please do so. Same goes for Babylon Creations, and for Beast Wars, J.K. Rockwell, and who made the previews. Now, the show's part one us are Specs Bar, Canada, Span, Ed. Marcy Gap for Night, Carvel for Night, and Super Car for Night, with all things on mobiles. We done Dole Show. Streams, the amazing Chris and CC win with random stuff, and there's a new one. All right, his name is Fanboy Films, and he is an expert when it comes to late night television. He knows a lot about late night uh, television. All right, now, now Fanboy Films uh, in his videos, they really spoke to me. All right, because look, all right, just like him. You know, I love uh, late night television as well. Uh, of course, uh, I want to be on late night uh, TV. Uh, he doesn't. But I got to applaud him for really taking very deep dives on late night TV. You know, or, or about uh, late night TV, I should say. So, check him out. You know, And when you uh, check him out and things like that, please tell him that I sent you. Alright? Now... <coughs> What's up? What's up with Joey King, a woman who Hollywood loves to mock? Hey, Hollywood, I'm first. Back off, huh? She has a new movie coming out entitled The In Between, and in it, she plays a woman who wants to bring her late boyfriend back to life. Huh. Bringing people back to life. Hey, wait a minute. Bringing people back? Huh? We're humans! Not miracle workers! Jeez Louise! What's next? Uh, a movie where uh, Joy King plays uh, someone who's trying to prevent uh, earthquakes from happening? Come on! Now watch this! And listen to this! Her net worth is low for a celebrity. Three million dollars! I repeat, three million dollars! Well, who made her that book? They have Netflix? Please, I'm confused. And trust me, if you've ever been uh, confused uh, while you're doing your own show, you know how ridiculous that can be. Mr. Bones, MP, let's go. It's time for the top eight list. Let's go. All right, here we go. Okay, what is tonight's category? 
Oh, Mr. Mueller, tonight's kind of going Tuppet words that Joy King loves to say every week. And this has the word weird written all over. Number eight, jump. Number seven, flop. Number six, money. Number five, computer. Number four, egg. Number three, slime. Number two, skunk. And number one, tree. Really? Who came up with this top eight list? Oh boy, not this again. I'm serious, who wrote the top eight list? I mean seriously, every time we do this top eight list, you know what? This segment keeps getting weirder and weirder. I know, I know, but please calm down. How can I calm down with every top eight list? It's been weird. It's been weird, weird, weird every single time. Well, let's be honest, this is a weird show. Okay. You're not wrong there. Boys, thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. The kids still call it week now update. Now here it is, your Friday night. Krusty Krab Pizza for you and me. Just eat it. Sorry. Does Empire still give away shampoos and sweepers free with any order? Yeah, we do. But there are a few more important things to talk about. Carpeting that won't stain is important. So is one day delivery. So is 60 days with no installment payments. Hey, it's important too that you don't pay extra for padding or installation. Empire includes that. Oh yeah, and you do get a choice of Bissell Shampoo or Zoom Broom Sweeper, free with any order. 588-2300-EMPIRE! Call your carpet guy right now. Me. Scott and the boys, yes! Hey, how are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Yes, yes. So, we're talking about Joey King tonight, right? That's right, Joey King, a.k.a. one of the weirdest actresses of our generation. Wow. How well weird is she? Well, it's kind of hard for me to explain, uh, you know, to you about like this. You know what, let's have some talking time, you know, and we'll talk about it. Alright? Alright, cool. Let's talk about it. Now. Joey King has a new movie coming out entitled, this is uh, strange, alright, The In-Between on Paramount Plus. It's coming out, uh, you know what, late, actually it's coming out on February 11th, so a weird uh, movie for Valentine's Day. Anyway, listen to this, okay? You know what, it's all about uh, Joey King who plays uh, Tessa. Right? A teenage photographer who meets and falls in love with Skylar after a troubled childhood that saw her bouncing around foster homes. When tragedy uh, strikes and takes Skylar's uh, life, Tessa starts to realize that uh, he is reaching out to her from a place called the In-Between. And I'm like, oh boy, this is getting ridiculous. So basically what happens is, she's trying to uh, go on this weird quest to uh, bring him back to life. And I'm like, really? I mean seriously, we can't do that in real life, okay? You know what, this whole uh, charmed uh, plot that you have uh, for the movies, it could go work, okay? 
which is one of the reasons why I come to only work for like a few seasons. Alright? This is going to be ridiculous. Every time uh, this happens, you know what? You know, it keeps uh, on happening over and over and over again. Now, most of you have already seen the, the trailer uh, by now at this point. I don't even need to tell you. Alright. Alright. What uh, the trailer is, is basically what I just said and, and what uh, most of this article uh, said. Okay? Of course, the main reason why uh, she took that role in, in that movie is due to the fact that her net worth is $3 million. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, this is what's uh, strange, okay? You know, she has been, uh, she has, uh, oh boy, she has only been in the business since she was a little kid. A little kid! Why would, <sighs> what is going on with her family? I mean, Jeez Louise, can't uh, the kids have normal lives before uh, you start uh, hammering them down or something like that? I mean, jeez Louise. You know, by the time she was six, she did over a hundred commercials. I'm like, please, we're crying out loud. You could have given Joey King a break. And... What's so strange about that is that immediately after she did uh, her 100 commercial, guess what? She started doing the Sweet Love of Zack and Cody, Malcolm in the Middle, Jericho, just to name a few. Just to name a few. And now, uh, you want uh, Joey King to do uh, some random movie about uh, bringing somebody who had just died, you know, back to life? Knowing very well that we're just human beings, not uh, miracle workers? Come on! You know, this whole thing is getting uh, ridiculous, okay? And, uh, you know what? I normally... Uh, I haven't done this in a while, but... I think it's time uh, to go off on a rant here. Okay? Well, alright. This whole thing... Is pretty much a rehash... Of what Charmed used to be. You folks remember what the TV show uh, Charmed? Some of you probably don't, you know, and some of you probably do, but uh, let me uh, refresh your memory, okay? Charmed is about uh, these three sisters, right? Who had uh, to work together to do supernatural things, okay? My mom and I used to uh, watch it uh, from time to time when it was on uh, some random uh, cable network. I don't know if it was TNT or, uh, or whatever. Alright? You know, but... Uh, but that was a thing, okay? And every episode, that was all about some supernatural thing. Alright? Whether it's, uh, you know, undoing a spell, or, uh, bringing somebody, uh, who died unexpectedly back to life, or anything like that. That was what Charm was. And by the way, I'm sorry if I, uh, you know, uh, spooked you, uh, a little bit, okay? I'm just stating the facts, and I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, putting it out there, okay? The fact that uh, some uh, movies are rehashing the same plot from a TV show that hadn't been on the air with new episodes in almost 20 years, it just shows how unoriginal and how fake Hollywood has grown to become. You know? In the very near future, I can suspect that uh, Hollywood would start uh, doing movies about hair and things like that. Now, some of you will probably think, that's boring. Well, anything uh, beats uh, rehashing old plots. And anything beats, you know, uh, doing the hokey pokey for like 90 minutes. I mean, look. Alright. You know, let's face facts, okay? You know, Joey King is one of those uh, actresses who would uh, do movies about uh, old plots that worked well on TV 
about to do what I play well in the movies. And, by the way, if you want to understand the, what I was talking about earlier, yeah, it's going to be on Paramount Plus. You know, on the Friday before Valentine's Day. Do you understand what that means? Okay, there's nothing romantic whatsoever about that movie. All right, if anything, that movie is just a spooky uh, movie that really uh, should have been released uh, this past Halloween. Not, you know, well, before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is all about love. And being happy with uh, your loved ones, you know, and, uh, and falling in love with your significant other. Okay, not being uh, spooked to death about uh, some random movie that has uh, nothing to do with, you know, with anything that involves Valentine's Day. So if you think that you're just going to uh, sit around and pay, uh, what, 25, 30 bucks for a streaming uh, service just to watch uh, a random movie, uh, you know, that's rehashing uh, the plot from an old TV show starring uh, an actress who uh, not too many people uh, care about. Do you really think? I mean, for crying out loud. You know, you know I would rather watch a movie about uh, a notebook. You know, an actual notebook. You know, a talking uh, notebook. You know, make it animated. You know, and just... Oh my goodness gracious. I know that uh, one of you, uh, who can make a movie about it, let's do it, huh? That's it for tonight's, uh, program. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out, skis. We're all by for all. Some creatures landed from outer space. They gave off a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night.